The key to turning data into information is having it make sense. Views are one way that we can make data more usable by sorting, filtering, or even grouping it. One way to put data that has dates involved into a format that makes more sense is to use a calendar. That's been one of our view formats for a long time in SharePoint. In fact, we even have a Gantt view for those of you familiar with project management tools. That view could be applied to data that has at least two date fields. The calendar and the Gantt view are still around, actually, but in SharePoint 2013, we have the ability to put tasks into a new view called the Timeline. It allows us to see them in relationship to one another along a continuum of time. You can see an example of it in this particular list. It is really fairly simple, with some type of time frame listed across the top, and then entries for each of the different items that we have that have been applied to the timeline. To use the timeline view, it needs to be enabled at the site level. This is done by an administrator. As someone who uses SharePoint, we begin by simply being sure that we can access a task list and that its tasks tab is available from the ribbon. To be displayed on the timeline, each task needs to be added to the timeline. It doesn't just happen automatically. You can see in our sample task list that we have already a couple of tasks on the timeline that I pointed out. I simply want to take you through the process of how you add tasks to the timeline itself. So let's take a look at our task list. The first couple of tasks that are marked as complete actually are on the timeline, and so is the one that says Write Course Outlines. The task that we have that says Create Learning Objectives has not been added yet. The first step is to click the check mark to make sure that we select the task. Now be careful that you do the check mark to select it and not the check box. The check box would actually mark it as complete. Once we have it selected, we need to move up to the ribbon. And if I were to ask you which one of the two tabs, tasks or list, do you think we would go to if we wanted to assign one of our tasks to the timeline, your guess would probably be the tasks tab. And indeed, you would be correct. From the task tab, about three quarters of the way over, Underneath the Actions group is an option that says Add to Timeline. Simply give that a click or a tap. You can now instantly see that Create Learning Objectives has been added to the right side of the timeline. Now, I know it may seem that adding each task will be cumbersome, and I can understand that concern. But another way to look at it is that you have control over what gets added to the timeline. Some teams choose to only put certain tasks on the timeline, while others put everything up there. The choice is yours and has to do with how you intend to use the timeline itself. Remember, though, that we do have a calendar view and a Gantt chart view that automatically includes all of the tasks. If those two views better facilitate what you want to show by putting things on the timeline, then you may not need the timeline. But the timeline itself does allow you to only put select items onto the timeline itself. That's where it really has a good value, in my opinion at least, is that it's customizable. It doesn't have to include everything. The other benefit, of course, is what we're seeing right now, that when this feature is enabled, it shows up at the top of the list. We don't have to have it in a certain view. We can still change our view to all tasks, completed tasks, and those types of things, and still see both the text entries and the timeline at the top. I guess what I'm trying to say is it has its purpose, but don't think it's the only option the calendar and the Gantt view still work for showing things in a similar visual way. What you now know is that list items with dates can be represented on calendar and Gantt views, but the timeline view for tasks is new in SharePoint 2013 and offers just another alternative. It provides a graphical way to represent tasks based on date and in relationship to one another. The feature must be enabled by your site administrator. Tasks must be manually added to the timeline using the ribbon option. It's a good idea to clarify with your team how you want to use the timeline so that appropriate tasks can be added to the timeline without making it too cluttered.